The category is live, work, pose. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to season one, episode seven of Pose. It's been a couple of weeks since I watched the last episode. Um, I've had a lot on, I've been rehearsing for a play that I'm doing online that I'm just going to be on this week. But um, I thought tonight I'd just about have time to just fit in one episode. Um, I had to look back and check exactly what happened in the previous one because I, I, I really didn't actually remember because it had been a couple of weeks. But um, I was pleased I looked back because I remembered that, um, uh, what's this? I've forgotten all their names. Oh my God. Pray tell? Pray tell? Pray tell? Pray tell? Pray tell? It's pray tell, isn't it? Um, that his boyfriend passed away. Which is very very sad beautifully done episode um and he sort of you could sense that he was starting to feel his own mortality as well with the illness that he has um then um what else happened um <laughs> oh it all came to a head with um what's his name the, the businessman guy um the one that's been sort of seeing Angel, um, Patty came to Angel, uh, found out what was going on, then there was a big fight at his work, and then he turned up at Angel's work, and I went into this super dark place where I was like, I think he's going to shoot her. I don't know where I got that idea from. <laughs> I think he just went to see her, <laughs> but I went, I went straight to shooting. Um, so anyway, we're up to episode 7, I'm looking forward to this, it's been a little while, and um, whenever I watch this it gives me a real energy, and it's quite late at night, so maybe I don't want a lot of energy, but um, I always enjoy it, so I'm looking forward to it, Let, let's go with this one. Make sure my sound is from the right place, it's from the right place. You don't have a maid service, watch your damn ball. That's going to be it. You put a bit of water in and yep, that's it, and then you'll go. He didn't go anywhere. Back so soon? Oh no. Oh, it's the what druggy it thing. Nah, no, I got it. No, I think I got it. That shit is ruining our community. I told you. I'm not selling drugs. You listen to me. You are lying little shit. I told you when you joined Evangelista what I wouldn't tolerate. You get caught doing anything illegal, don't make me your one call. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh-oh. Maybe it's gonna come to a head this episode. I love this song so much. Oh, wow. Well, well. If you tell me, Did you if you tell me now. First? I've had plenty of bites and drinks since you've been gone. Oh my God, but does he know? I have for two months. And I refuse to wait one Does he know? Day. How did it all go? Are you talking? Oh no! My tucking days are over, sweetheart. Oh my god, oh my god. Come on. To be a complete woman. Well then, I guess we're done here. Wow. Do you love me or was this all just about the sex? I don't come here for that. I can get that anywhere. I'm in control here. I really worry that he's gonna get violent. So what happens now? I thought our love was stronger than that. It's not love. I thought it would take more to make you You're happy. like a fetish to him. I hate you. Because I love you. Because you're the best thing in my life. Maybe he does love her. I don't know. He lost it all. I give you two weeks before you cool off and realize that the best of him still remains and you can't live without it. Uh-uh. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, three, it's four, It's tricky, five. right? Because... If he was 100% clear with her, then I understand why he's leaving. But at the same time, she has to be who she is, and that is a woman, and she wants to be a woman, and that's that. So there, there's no question, really. She did what was right for her, but it isn't right for him. They're not right together, and that's that, I think. This is of the world, man. No, this is Freddy Krueger. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'll be staying the night, and I need you all to clear out of the bedroom. Hey, that's the girls' room. Where are we supposed to sleep? We have futons. Or fold up some blankets and make a bed on the floor. You have a brain. Use it. Hold up. 
You want the entire room to yourself while we sleep on the floor? I pay the rent here. I have my fingers in many pots around this city. Is that what they call being a slut now? Shut the fuck up! Uh... <laughs> Rule number one, no sucking your teeth. Rule number two, only mother smokes in the house. No gum chewing, no late night music, no sleeping in after 1 p.m. Well, make mother another drink. <laughs> She's so ridiculous. But, you know, on another side of it, you know, she is a... She's a bully. You didn't tell me the truth. No. So they all know, yeah? I'm not gonna throw under the bus. <laughs> yes, mother. They are like little kids. By, by being in this kind of relationship, it makes them into little kids. Lies are a form of disrespect. Uh oh. I expect all of you to tell the truth. Uh oh. So I'ma only ask you one time. Is Poppy doing drugs? Oh. He's doing drugs. You know, I'm not a snitch. She no! No, you don't say that. As soon as you say that, she knows. He's dealing. Pet the peers. Why? I should have told you sooner. I'm sorry I disrespected your rules. It'll never happen again. Please. Don't kick me out. I mean... You're the only one that was honest with her. This isn't gonna go I'm well. Lying. You lied to me. And the worst part about it is that you did it right to my face. I didn't lie. Yes, you did. Every time you walked out of that apartment, you came here to sell drugs. You could get arrested or worse. It can't get no worse. What other choices are there for a 20 year old with an eighth grade education? I'm so disappointed in you. Yo, stop <laughs> acting like you're my mom's cause you're not. Oh my god. Are you just gonna turn around and leave me? Without giving me another chance? And where am I supposed to go? You haven't even apologized to be fair. Why Locked should up. she give you a chance? Hey, I didn't mean it! You've not shown You hear what I said? I didn't mean it! Mm. Lucky, you may not believe this, but. Sorry. Well, that's what you need to do last night. I'm out. Peace. Call me a punk again. Uh, watch my seriously? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Let's go. Yeah? Yeah. I just I can't know. see this going well still. Did I do it? It would be nice though, wouldn't it? If this storyline did go nicely and it was... It went well, but I, it would be lovely. Like the song. Like the song. So you're getting a divorce? I don't know. Um, Big word. I want to see your life. Ooh, I love with this. With the, with the trophies and everything. I, I want to I wanna see that. I like that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know what my life is like. It's That's nice. Boring. It's stupid. What? Oh my god, I love that. Yeah. I'm a boyfriend. Oh my god. My finances are none of your business. Uh, they, are. they are, if it's her life. Exactly. Hush. I'm leaving. Fools, where will you go? What will you do? I'll start my own house. I've, she's been talking about doing that before, right? That's the gag of all gags. What? <laughs> Bring it, bitch. <laughs> You're going to regret this. Mr. Floyd is going to take me back, and I will have everything. Let me through! Keep that bitch. bitch. Nothing would make me happier than break your fucking freak face. You know where you're going, man? Yes, I do. To the penthouse. Oh my god. Things make yourself comfortable. Oh my service. god. I'm not ready for the hood. Don't pussy out on me now. Oh god. Oh god. You've been working with my street team. I rose a lookout. I'm glad they're giving little puppy a storyline though. He's kind of done nothing really all season. We got caught on the first night? Like the advertisement in the village voice said, don't worry, you'll find me. Miss Electra stands out in a crowd. <laughs> Accident on our boat off Montauk. So you have a boat? 
Oh my god. It tells <laughs> He tells her that his wife died and her response is both. I work at the Once in a while when we have sex, I want you to be urinating on me. Everybody's got a thing, I guess, right? I mean I cannot do what you're asking. I am a full woman. Oh. Kind of messed up for you not to say that in your head. Oh my god. That's so interesting. I was not expecting that. Ish that to be an issue again. Girl, we can be comas. Joining forces. Like business women. Oh. Candy's suddenly yeah, interested. We're gonna need a vulgar, cause uh, you know you can't. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Floor. That bitch can vote the house down. They yes. have got a plan on their hands. Right. Also, we've got three houses now. I've been thinking it's all about these two houses. Oh, it's like oh, it's like Game of Thrones for gays. Why are you being a dick? Oh, come on. How long are you gonna go without speaking anyway? I'm not mad. Well, I'm fucking pissed off. Same what you did was so disrespectful. What happened to Strico, huh? You snitched on him with the quickness. You didn't even think twice before throwing him under the bus, Ricky. That's Ooh. not what happened. It's really weirdly paced this episode because, you know, the order of things. It went. Angel was with. You know, Angel was with. You know, Pappy got thrown out, and then Angel spent the night with Stan. And now it comes back to Angel again being angry and it doesn't feel like her story through this episode really makes sense because she was fine on the evening she was with Stan. She wasn't showing any sign of anger. So I feel like they've got the pacing or something about the, the order of the storyline a little bit wrong here. It doesn't quite work. If it were me, I would have done the same thing. Selling drugs is a crime. <laughs> you allow this one fence to go unpunished. Who knows how serious the next one will be? I love the dance teacher, she's so lovely. the basis for your decision in the moment, but years from now they will, and you will have earned their respect. Hmm. That I know to be true. But if something happens to Pappy, then that will not hold true. She's so lovely. There's something lovely about this show, and that all the characters are just, you know, even the less. Well developed characters are just so lovely and well written and Okay. Oh, no. is he like a kid in that sweet shop? <laughs> the season only comes once a year. I prefer to come every night. <laughs> Oh my god, he is going like a kid in the sweet shop. Maybe next week. Please, baby. But I mean so much to me. Come on. I think you're going somewhere and nobody will find you. You thought living on the fringes of society was going to be some kind of picnic and roses? She thought it would be easier than being fraud. That's because you're a white boy from the suburbs. You don't get it. I just wanted a taste of what you have. I do love you. Oh my god, he's gonna know that. You know how I got arrested the other day? I was looking at him and I me. All I could think about was his voice in my head saying, Don't make me your one phone call. God. I'm not doing drugs no more. I'll be dead, great. I got new months now. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you join the house of abundance? Abundance? Ah. Please. That name is as old as Electra's lace fronts. You don't get me right. I uh, look pretty damn serious. Ah. Like <laughs> and unlike you, we won't throw our children around the streets like trash. Yeah, is she going to work then? Oh my god, oh my 
my god! No, no, no! Oh no! Oh. Feeling the pain, I'm really feeling the pain for her. I said it, he won't be able to give up his normal life. He'll go back to his wife, it's the easy way out, and that is what he's going to end up doing, isn't it? Going back to his wife and his kids. One night at the bloody, um, one night at the, what do you call them? The, the show, the, why, why is my brain gone? You know what I mean. And he couldn't cope with it. He couldn't cope with anything that was just slightly away from the norm. And I think it's realistic. I, I, I said this early on in the season. I said there was no way that he was going to be able to just become that person. And like she said, he's a white suburban boy. Like, he's used to just normal. Like, nothing out of the ordinary. He doesn't really understand anything outside of that. I really relate to that. I mean, I'm gay, but... I was brought up, you know, like a white middle class boy and, you know, it took me a lot of courage to do anything against the norm and I still struggle to go against the norm sometimes because I always felt like there was an expectation to follow the, follow the rules and do what you're supposed to do. So I feel like I totally understand where he's coming from. Um... Meanwhile, this whole little pappy thing, so she threw him out. Like, sorry, morally, I'm just a bit all over the place with this one. Like, he was drug dealing, so yeah, I get it, why she wanted to throw him out. But then I also get why he was annoyed, because, you know, he, she didn't really give him a chance. Um, and then, what I didn't understand, though, you know, her begging him to come back, like... Sorry, mate, like, you threw him out. If he wants to go to another house, then that's, that's his prerogative now. You, you, he doesn't have to give you a chance. You didn't give him a chance, in my opinion. That's all I'm saying. I'm normally a massive supporter of Blanca. I really felt like this episode was, I don't know if it was written by someone different or what, but, like, it just felt a little bit off. Some of the writing wasn't quite as good, and... I wasn't 100% convinced by a couple of the character moments. So, yeah, it was interesting that. Um, other than that, I feel like that was kind of it in terms of what happened. Blanca really... Str oh, I guess it was Blanca really struggling to... Uh, you know, she isn't... She is a mother very naturally, right? But she isn't actually their mother. And that always causes this kind of, like, friction between them where... Or tension between them because she isn't actually their mother and so she doesn't actually have a hold over them really it's all kind of an illusion kind of an act that they all put on where she becomes their mother and they follow her rules so yeah and then you got Electra who has basically hit rock bottom now and all the things that she used to be loved for she's no longer loved for and that is you know, it's very interesting. Um, she's lost the the physical thing that makes her seem to be two genders. Because obviously she has femininity on the external side. Now that she's no longer got a penis, um, she's lost that masculinity. And it seems like the men that were interested in her wanted both. It's like they wanted her f specifically for the fact that she had both. So losing one of them, you know, losing the masculine inside of her in that way, physically at least, um, has put some people off. And that's really interesting. I don't know if that's a, a common experience for transgender people, that when they have the op, they sometimes become less attractive to others. I just don't know. I, don't, I, I mean, I, like I said in previous episodes, I don't really have any experience of trans people. Not really. I mean, I know of, I have acquaintances rather than friends. Um, so I just don't know very much about if that's, if that's realistic, if that's kind of what people experience. If you do know, then I'd love to know. I'm very interested. 
So there we go. So um, penultimate episode of the season. I don't think it was the strongest episode. I'm interested to see what they do to close the season off. But um, I'll be back very soon to see that. Um, if you like the video, then please do comment, like and subscribe. And if you love the video, then please do sign up to my Patreon, which is www.patreon.com forward www.patreon.com Oh my god! www.patreon.com forward slash Mark Ward. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.